Hello everybody, welcome to Bear in the Kitchen. Today's project we're working on stuffed bacon wrapped jalapeno peppers. Alright, let's get started. All in all, this is pretty simple to do. It doesn't take much. Some bacon, some toothpicks, some cream cheese, your jalapenos of course, something to cook it in. And I've got a little bit of extra flavor to throw in that cream cheese, some dried peppers and some dried tomatoes powdered up nice. That should blend in really well. A nice easy project, but it looks like you took a lot of time to do it and everybody enjoys the flavor. Let's get cooking. One of the first things you're going to need to do is to take the tops off, get the seeds out of your peppers. You want to leave them as intact as possible though so your cream cheese will stay in once you stuff it. So. I'm just going to make a nice slice along the sides like that, clean it out in a second. So for those of you who don't have a lot of experience dealing with hot peppers, I do recommend wearing gloves for this process. Okay, now that the peppers have been cleaned and put aside, I'm going to need to mix up the cream cheese filling for the inside of this. I'll just take a quarter cup, since there's only four jalapenos today. Set the rest of that aside. So for some additional kick today, as I mentioned earlier, I've got this homemade, I don't know, I'm trying to work on something like a sweet chili spice, but for now, it's just dried tomatoes and some dried peppers and it's got a kick and yet it's kind of sweet at the same time. It's a very interesting flavor. Not quite the sweet chili I'm looking for but I'll let you all know about that when I finally figure it out. So now I'm just going to mix this in slowly but surely. be much faster if I took the time to use beaters but I just prefer using a fork. Once you're satisfied with how well your cream cheese is mixed, you can just set it aside for a moment. I like to check the flavor on things. <laughs> that's going to be good. Oh, that's got some burn. That's going to be fantastic. So by this point, you should probably have your oven preheating. We do everything at about 350 around here. And I'm going to cook these for 20 minutes or till I'm satisfied with how the bacon looks. You want to make sure your toothpicks are handy at this point. It's the last thing you want to do is put greasy bacon over all the rest of your toothpicks sitting in the box. Make sure your bacon's already open. Make sure you've got your jalapenos here and you're good to go. Take a spoonful, mix it in there. I'm thinking I probably should have made more. These jalapenos are bigger than they looked. Now that I've used up all my cream cheese, I'm just going to line them back up. Make sure I've got the right tops with the right bottoms. I have a bit of an issue on that one. Now for the bacon. Pretty straightforward on this one. Wrap it around. Take one toothpick. Make sure that's jammed through both halves. 
got a bit of an issue there, but we'll deal with that in a second. Again, grab your toothpick, make sure it's through both halves of your jalapeno. Now, I want to cover up the ends of these, so I'm just going to take two more strips of my handy dandy bacon, cut it in half, then I'll take one of the bacon halves and just enclose the end of the jalapeno. My family is pretty much of the opinion you can never have too much bacon, so they'll be fine with this. Again, make sure the toothpick goes all the way through because you're going to want to hold both of those halves. I'm going to place that in an 8 inch by 8 inch cake pan so that it can get a nice even bake. I'll show you that in a second. Make sure it's all the way through. Well here you can see what they look like in my 8x8 baking pan. I think I might just go over the top and drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on that. Then I'm going to throw them into the oven. Again it's set at 350 and I'm going to put them in there for about 20 minutes. We'll check back on them then. Mmm, maple syrup and bacon. I'm not Canadian, eh? Alright, let's throw these in the oven. And we'll check back on those in 20 minutes. Alright, the timer just went off. Let's check and see how these are doing. Well, I don't know. It's looking pretty good to me, but I'm hungry, so... I think I should probably give that at least another 15 minutes. We'll check back on it then. So now we're at 35 minutes into this. Let's check and see how they're looking. Oh, that smells fabulous. Since everybody likes their bacon a little bit different, I'm sure some people think that's burnt and some people think that's raw. But I think that's just about perfect. Time to taste test. Let's move one of these onto the plate. Take a taste test. pretty good to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, that. That is amazing. What a great combination of flavors. You should definitely feel free to try this one at home. This is fabulous and ultimately, it's pretty easy. That's all from the kitchen. Have yourselves a great day and thanks for watching.